This new AI tool just blew my mind. This person on Twitter used AI to completely recreate Steve Jobs' voice in a text message. Check this out. I believed in the potential of AI to enhance our lives and solve some of the world's biggest challenges. However, I also believe we must remain vigilant and ensure that the technology is developed ethically and with human values at its core. We need to ensure that AI is designed for augmented intelligence rather than artificial intelligence, and that it serves humanity in ways that align with our values. The crazy part is that's one of hundreds of brand new AI tools that are coming out on a daily basis. Well, I've sorted through hundreds of them and I found 20 of the best for you here. First up is Adobe Firefly. Adobe Firefly uses AI to help you create and manipulate images. For example, you can take a springtime photo, put it into Firefly, and then give the prompt to change it to a winter scene. And then turn it into an animated movie clip with snow. You can generate brushes intelligently based on the objects that are inside of a photo. You can change the entire texture of objects in photos. You can take a blank canvas and paint in objects and scenery and create an entire scene, an entire image from scratch. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. So, so many other features. This is image manipulation and graphic design on steroids. Leiapix is a really cool image tool. This will let you take any two-dimensional image, upload it to the service, and then use AI to create a depth animation. Meaning it takes two-dimensional images and makes them look pseudo three-dimensional and it gives it some motion so it looks like it has depth. It's a really cool tool to use. All you have to do is just upload your photo and it does the rest. Now they do let you fine tune the end product, but for the most part, they do the heavy lifting for you. This one is super fun to play around with. Next up is Runway ML. Runway ML is so many tools packed all into one. They're releasing a bunch of really incredible stuff. Tools like text to color grade where you can upload a clip and then type a prompt of what your mood is in the clip or what type of style you want to see and it will color grade that clip for you. You can also take a video clip that's not slow motion and make it slow motion, but without any weirdness of most current tools. It uses AI to create all the in-between frames. And it does that in order to make this slow motion effect completely seamless. You can actually paint out and remove objects from videos just like you would a still image in Photoshop. But I think the coolest features are their new Gen 2 features. Things where you can alter entire video scenes based on what you type into a prompt. Prompts like make this clip look like animation. But they're also introducing new cutting edge AI tool sets for videos like text to video, where you just type a prompt and it creates the video out of nothing, fully moving video frames from AI. Crazy stuff. Next up is Synthesia. Synthesia lets you take text, input it into their tool and create talking head text to video. This is a text to speech and video all in one tool. If you wanna create a presentation or tutorial or whatever, but you don't wanna be in the video yourself, well, you can create an AI person to present the video for you. Now, this one is a little bit uncanny valley at times, but as a proof of concept, I think it's super cool. And I'm interested to see what the next iteration of this tool looks like. Next up is Super Meme AI. Super Meme AI lets you take a text prompt and turn it into a bunch of memes all in just one single click. This is a really fun AI tool that I think a lot of people will get a kick out of using. For example, let's say you put all of these AI tools to use. And as a result, you ascend past all of humanity's collective intelligence to become a 200 IQ god. Well, you're gonna need a solid meme to back that up so you got some street cred. So, here you go. Here is your meme. Enjoy. So, get to typing some prompts and get to memeing, my friends. Steve AI and Pictory are text to video tools. Now these aren't as impressive as Runway ML. I would say these are maybe for more informational type videos where you want text, images, and stock photos or stock video to do most of the explaining for you. Simply upload your script to these tools, set a few parameters, and they will generate the video for you. Then you can go back through and make some tweaks to make it perfect just the way you want it. Next up is Wave Tool. Wave Tool is a music making AI tool with an assistant. It's basically an entire music studio right in your browser. Everything from recording, composing, producing, mixing, mastering, and exporting. Now they call this built-in assistant conductor, and it lets you chat things like make a funky beat and then you can say things like this slaps let's add a melody and so on and so forth until you get whatever track it is that you like similar but very different is sound draw 
SoundDraw is a music generator. You can choose a mood or you can give it a prompt. Then after it spits out some music that it generated for you using AI, you can then customize the track to your liking. You can do that by doing things like adjusting the tempo or adding and subtracting instruments or a ton of other options. Next is Eleven Labs. Eleven Labs is one of the most realistic text to speech AI tools out there like spooky realistic. You can use some of the built in voices or you can train it on someone else's voices, including your own voice. This is a tool that the person on Twitter used to create that Steve Jobs voice. Next up is Canva. If you don't know about Canva, then maybe you've been living under a rock. It's an incredible design tool that's been around for a while. And the reason I'm talking about it in this video is because they just added a bunch of awesome AI features. Features like the magic replace tool, which lets you just paint over an object and then transform it into another object right there in the image. Beat Sync lets you automatically sync video clips to music tracks. They even have AI writing tools to help you write SEO friendly writing on your design. Designs. And of course, there's a bunch of other cool ones too. Next up is Ingest AI. Ingest AI lets you dump your complete knowledge into it and then create an AI powered assistant. A really cool use case here is if you have a bunch of podcasts or videos, just recordings of yourself, you can then upload these to Ingest. It will then learn how you answer certain questions or your thoughts and views and certain opinions you have on various topics. Then you can create a digital assistant or even like a chat bot in something like Discord. And then when people interact with it, it will answer them just like you were answering them. And this is not pre-programmed, it's just basing these responses off of what you said before. Next tool is Cactus. Cactus is a full set of AI tools that are really helpful if you are a student or if you're someone who wants to start making some extra money on the side doing tutoring. Because basically what it does is it helps with schoolwork. Now for features like an essay writer, paragraph generator, text summarizer, cover letter writer, coding tools, and study tools. I think features like the essay writer are particularly powerful because they not only help you write the essay with AI, but they also help you understand the subject matter as you write it, which in my opinion is an essay writing win-win. The next one is Deep Nostalgia. Now Deep Nostalgia is a tool that lets you take photos of people and then bring them to life. This one's partially amazing and partially terrifying. So if you've ever wanted to see your great grandmother Dorothy looking around, blinking at you, well then this is your tool. You just upload a photo and this AI tool gets to work digging up granny. Next up is Versi, which is a text to space AI generator. And what does that mean? You just type in a prompt and then Versi creates an entire virtual experience for you. Then you can customize that space to your liking. Tools like this are gonna pave the way for anybody to be able to type in a prompt and create something like a virtual reality environment or create content or spaces for the metaverse in the future. Summarize Tech AI is a tool that lets you summarize videos from the internet. A great use case for this is if you snag the link for that video podcast you've been meaning to listen to. Well, you just paste this into Summarize Tech and then it automatically spits out an entire summary of that hour long podcast that you are definitely probably for sure gonna listen to yourself. The next tool is called Brandmark. Brandmark is a great tool if you wanna well, actually, watch this video to see more about that tool and 19 others that will help you save a ton of time and make more money. So I'll see you there. Goodbye.